storing fodder for your livestock in a 3 by 4 meters room that is equivalent to 2 acres of napier grass and only in 9 days? Through a technology known as hydroponics, a farmer can be able to grow plants without the use of soil. Here, we focus on growing fodder for livestock through hydroponics. So, how do you go about growing hydroponic fodder? Is it more advantageous than conventional feed? Is it affordable and what are its benefits? In comparison, hydroponic fodder saves you up to 50% on animal feed, increases your yields and milk output in dairy cows, and it is very affordable. <music> Let us look at what you need to grow this fodder. 1. Housing. Choose a place for your structure that is convenient for you and measure 3 by 4 meters. This is a standard structure that can fit 2 daily cows, 10 pigs or goats, and you can use locally available materials like poles and timber. Ensure you have all the necessary tools to do the construction work. The structure should be strong enough to withstand wind and other forces. An important element to consider is the shelves that have to be inclined slightly to allow water to drain. Please note, the shelves incline in opposite direction. After your skeleton is complete, cover the sides with a shade net. Your completed structure will look something similar to this. Note, the housing structure is used to control the environment in which you will grow your fodder. You will also need clean water, aluminium trees, fertilizer solution and seeds. Barley or white sorghum, commonly known as gadam seeds, are best because of their high nutrients and energy. Now that you have all the requirements and your structure is ready, it's time to go to the next stage which is growing your fodder. Step 1 is seed selection. This is very important. Ensure seeds are high quality, free from pests and diseases to avoid poor germination. Remember, quality seeds will produce strong, healthy fodder. Step 2 is cleaning the seeds. Measure the desired quantity. 2 kgs per tray is recommended. Using clean water, wash the seeds thoroughly, let it settle, remove all floating debris and seeds. Repeat this procedure 2 to 3 times until seeds are fully clean. Next step is sterilizing the seeds using locally available domestic bleach or hydrogen peroxide. Measure 3 milliliters, mix well with the seeds, and let it soak for about 30 minutes. This process ensures that seeds are sterilized to remove any infection. After 30 minutes, rinse with clean water to remove the bleach. Next, you will need to soak your seeds for a period of 8 to 12 hours. This helps to end seed dormancy. Mix 2 to 3 parts water to 1 part seed. Remove and drain water and put them in a sprouting bag for about 48 hours, which is about 2 days. Finally, your seeds are ready for planting and using thoroughly sterilized aluminum trays, place the seeds in the trays. Spread evenly and cover to facilitate faster shoot development. And cover after one or two days. Now keep watering as necessary and always ensure the temperature is between 17 to 20 degrees centigrade. Day 1, your seeds will look like this. Day 2, like this. And in the 6th day, your shoot will look like this. In the ninth day, your fodder will be mature, about 7 inches tall, ready for harvesting. 
In just about nine days, you have ready fodder for your livestock, saving you a lot of work, space, time, and money. I'm showing you 60 square meters greenhouse. In this greenhouse, we're growing barley grass. In 60 square meters, we'll be able to produce 2,000 kilo every single day. What we are showing you here is being planting today. And here, 24 hours later, looking better, and he start to set the roots and everything. Uh, a bit slow to start. Once it's uh, start after three days, it's really moved very, very fast indeed. As you see in here, it's uh, looking better and greener, and uh, come level and uh, even, and they get lush and green after three days and it looks absolutely beautiful. We managed to uh, put high protein, showing on the test 29.8, and the calcium is five times higher than the average barley growing on the ground. And the beauty of it is, it's only cost of the running cost included, electricity, labor, and everything, it's seven cents a kilo. We're very happy indeed with the performing. We've been doing testing for the last six months since uh, we realized it's gonna be very dry, so we thought this is really help for the cattle. The machine moved very slowly, as you can see, three and a half turns every hour. As a turn, each turn, they have a drink for 20 minutes. Very shortly, we will show you. And uh, also we're taking the benefit of the height of the system to save space and uh, we'll be able to use uh, temperature control and uh, humidity control and completely environment control. We are absolutely very happy indeed with the system. Regional, the system is designed to grow vegetables. We also grow vegetables with this. Here we are, it's a view from the top to show you the high. All up the uh, system, it's about 6.2 meter high, and the uh, greenhouse is uh, just under 10 meter. As you see in here, having a drink, like I told you before, 20 minutes, every two hours, as the system will do a full turn, the water will turn off and stay off for two hours. Very smooth, fine mist, come to the uh, landing gentle on the green and uh, very shortly uh, we will show you how the cattle go very excited about it. They can eat roots and all. This uh, system is designed to uh, go 24 hours a day and like I said it's every uh, week we produce 2,000 240 square meters of barley grass. Here, this is the fourth load. The cattle's getting excited about it. Uh, so we'll, see, we'll show you how this is the number four load, by the way. As we uh, feed them, you can see them coming very excited and running for it even after the fourth load. We're very happy indeed. It's uh, very uh, good for the milk and uh, the beauty of it and uh, they can also, when you're not using the machine, if it's uh, wet weather, you can grow other things, like for example, mushroom or whitlof, without changing anything in the machine. So uh, it's a very, very efficient. We got people from overseas very keen about it. Chinese very interested about it because they realize they can build the system anywhere in China, especially north, where it's very heavy snow. Uh, they know when the snow, it's very difficult for the cattle to get what they need, and especially a very efficient and green when it's snow. So they, they want to know when they can be able to 
start producing these machines for him. Look at them, all happy, cattle and eating, roots and all. That's all for now. 